Hey guys, today I want to talk about a more advanced uh, synthesis technique. Um, it's just going to be an introduction and it's going to be about physical modeling synthesis. And it sounds like a whole lot. And I'll give you the Wikipedia description first. Um, it says, in sound synthesis, physical modeling synthesis refers to methods in which the waveform of the sound to be generated is computed by using a mathematical model being a set of equations and algorithms to simulate physical source of sound, usually a musical instrument. So what this means is that, um, it sounds very complicated, but basically it's, um, it calculates what would happen in a normal instrument. And um, that way you can really realistically create um, a guitar, drum sounds and stuff like that. And the way it works is you choose a, um, you have an exciter and then you have a resonator and in this um, particular synthesizer which is by um, AAS applied acoustics and this one is called chromophone and here on the right side you have the resonators and you can choose between um, like a wooden beam uh, marimba uh, membrane which you would use for a snare drum and you have two of them and then on the left side you have the exciters and one is a mallet so it's going to be sort of a stick hitting this object and you have noise and in that case the noise would be hitting this object and the very um, cool and advanced thing about this particular synthesizer is that it has this button here which says couple and if you click that the resonators are also going to respond on each other so you sort of have to imagine you have um, if we choose a string and if we choose a membrane then you sort of have to imagine that you hit the string and the membrane is gonna um, is gonna vibrate with it because of the vibrations of the string you can hear that when you're uh, practicing with a band for example and someone is playing guitar you can also hear the membrane of the snare drum sort of vibrating along and this synthesizer has a built-in algorithm to do that so first you choose your um, exciter it could be a mallet, it could be noise, it could be both, and those are hitting these objects. And here you can set the pitch, and then you can set um, various parameters like the tension of the strings and the tension of the membrane, and you get all sort of a realistic, very clear and cool sounds. And since this, this is just an introduction, I just want to um, show you how this works and I want to show you uh, various synthesizers so you can uh, try it for yourself because you could get this one. But if you're in Logic, you also have Sculpture. And Sculpture is, I think, by far my favorite um, physical modeling synthesizer. It's crazy advanced. There's a lot of small buttons that you miss in the beginning and that after a half year you think, ah, that's what's that for. But here you have three um, three objects, uh, so three resonators, and you can um, set how they are um, striked. So you can uh, use noise, the same as in the other synthesizer, but you can also use a bow, like on a violin, a pick, like on a guitar. And if I just use this first uh, object, that the other twos are off. Then I get that sound and I can move this slowly to a more nylon string, more steel. And then here I have my pickup position. So if you had the guitar, this is where it um, would pick up the vibrations, like the, what's that called? Yeah, those are just called the pickups. Um, that's this. And then you can choose uh, more objects. And you can choose objects that disturb the string. So, for example, with this one, you can um, sort of emulate the effect that you have something bouncing on the strings. So, this is a very 
very very cool one uh, I like it and it's free if you have logic um, then we have the mother of all uh, physical modeling synthesizers which is also by applied acoustics um, they are sort of on top of the game there and this is a modular a modular uh, physical modeling synthesizer and if you switch over to the builder you can build all these modules yourself so you can uh, choose your noise so your exciter and then you can choose your resonators and you can um, choose your ADSRs and filters and then you can switch back and then you have this where you can combine this all. And this is also combined with just regular synthesis. And then um, the last one I want to show you, also a very famous one, is inside a reactor. And this one is called a steam pipe. And if you don't have any of the other synthesizers, I think you're gonna have uh, complete. So then you have reactor and then you have steam pipe. And I really love the sound of, of just physical modeling. In general, it has a very clear and precise sound. It's excellent for sound design. You can do some crazy uh, stuff with it. For example, yesterday I experimented with um, transposing a melody up to um, in the eighth octave range, so like C8 and D8, which is very high. And in normal synthesizer, totally fall apart right there. But in physical modeling, it still works because it's um, it's with these mathematical formulas. Um, so definitely give that a go, and if you want to um, know more about this, please let me know. I've been investigating a little bit about this synthesis technique and uh, I know a thing or two. So if you want to, if you want to learn all about that, let me know, and I'll uh, give you more information on that. Thanks for watching, and uh, till next time.